How's it going guys? So today in the Phantom Cave news, we are talking about next week's Phantom comic, which will be the Christmas special, and we have some news on that as well as the giant size, latest news on the giant size Phantom issue 15 news, and a new special artist segment, which I will be brought to you by Phantom Cave himself, and... As always, we have our latest DC news. So, in the Phantom news this week, we have a new Phantom comic coming out next week on Thursday. And you may be asking, what is this new Phantom comic coming out next week? It is the 2020 Christmas special and if you cannot see there will be a picture up here because few publishers, few publications have today recently just announced what the cover is going to be looking like and I will be showing a picture up there right on the screen right now. Also in the Phantom News we will be seen and also in the Christmas special we will, we obviously always see like the usual American sort of dailies and Sundays. We always see that sort of stuff. But in 2016, we actually saw in the Christmas special edition of 2016, we actually saw a full cover, full color um, stories of all American greats. Now, I'll have, again, I'll have another picture of that cover up on the screen right now. And now we're going to be moving into some other Phantom news. And we will soon be seeing Giant Size Phantom number 15 out in the wild. It has some new stories, some new characters coming in from few publications and one that I'm very, very excited for is the Phantom and the Catman story, which I'll be showing a picture up there, and the Sir, new Sir Falcon story, which it should be pretty good. I love my Catman stories. I love my Sir Falcon stories. It's the same with Raven. In this next segment, we are talking about a very special new artist segment we are talking about. We have three artists who I'm going to be promoting their art to the wider community and to a lot of Phantom fans who may not know who these artists are, who may not know what their artworks are about, and this is a little bit of information about them. So the first actual artist we're going to be talking to is Gal Yosef. Gal Yosef is a 3D artist from Israel and I'm showing some artworks of his recent artworks. You can go check out his Beans, Adobe Beans uh, profile. I'll put all the links to these artists and where to find them in the description below. But this artist is from Israel and has been working on a series, a cartoon series of old and lovely characters like Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, Donald Duck, and others. Gal also is featured on Autodex for being free, being the three D artist of the month, and that was back in June. Now, with his long career ahead in the future of 3D animation, 3D art, he is an artist to look out for. And I will keep showing some um, sort of artworks from these artists up on the screen right now. And this is one of the artworks um, you would want to look out for in the future. And because of that, he will be on the rise for he will be on a rise for this sort of artwork and what the artist he is he, basically what art he's. The second actual artist we will be talking about is a guy who you may already know. He's like a phantom artist, but he's also he also does other sort of pulp heroes. So we're going to be talking now. We're going to be talking about Eric. Precardo, 
Um, he ever since. I could, ever since I could remember, I've loved drawing, I drew everything from dinosaurs, animals, and this is basically an extraction from what he sent in on me on Instagram. So, he's been drawing everything from dinosaurs, animals, cars, um, but my favourite things to draw were comic book characters, and over time... I studied other art styles as well as other artists and incorporated that into my style of drawing. In that time, I learned about comic book history as well and grew fond of darker characters. His lesser known heroes, especially the pulp characters of the 1930s, the Phantom, obviously these are sort of what uh, examples of his art will be showing some up in the screen below um, is the Phantom, Shadow, da Daredevil and Batman are one of his personal favourites to draw and in the end his art is basically his art is a confession and if my art can bring people together, then that makes my work worth it. So, all these sort of descriptions, all these links to artworks and artists on Instagram, bands, on their websites even, will be featured down in the description below. And I will continue on with putting the artists' artworks up there. Now, the third artist we're going to be talking about is Alberto Pessoa. Now, Alberto Pessoa was born in 19... I think 1979 and is a professor of digital communications at Universidade Federal Barriera in Brazil. As an educator, his focus is on using comics in teaching and arts. His first experience with the Phantom was in 1986, reading the book Super Man Yogi Do Phantasma. Now, I will keep showing them, as I've said, um, with his two artworks up there. Um, we have a lot of Phantom from this guy, and he's just great. I'll continue. With two comics drawn by Walmi Amaral. Now, we all know who Walmi Amaral is. He's an amazing, he's a famous uh, Brazil artist that did the Phantom back in the, I think, the Fratelli Spada era. And he's, he's pretty cool. I've read a couple of his stories. Now, we will continue. Uh, he also is an artist and educator. Alberto Pressasoa create, created a portrait of Rosa that is both tender and raw. His debut graphic novel, Primas, is based on field research and interviews conducted in partnership with psychologists at Federal University of Mariba. Now, you can obviously look at these artworks and tell if they're any good. Now, a lot of these artworks I'm going to be talking about is they're very, very good. Now, this special artist segment will be only happening not often. And as we all know, we are now going to be getting into the DC News segment. And if you want, as I've talked about these artists, you can go follow their art in the links in the description below. In today's DC News segment, we will be talking about Zack Snyder's Justice League could be coming to DC Comics too. Now, in the past, I've talked about Zack Snyder's Justice League movie um, because Justice League came out in, I think, 2016 or 2017. Um, there was another cut of the Justice League and Zack Snyder's Justice League 
could be coming to DC Comics, as I said. Now, Zack Snyder's Justice League cut, it's amazing. I'll, I'll agree with a lot of people. It's great. I love it. And I hopefully hope I can watch it. Hopefully I can do something like a review on it or something. Um, but it's so good. And it's good that it's coming to DC Comics as a comic formation, as a comic adaption to the movie. When it will be coming out probably mid next year. And as always, if you've enjoyed doing this um, news broadcasting system with me, you can always subscribe, like, share, and comment if you have any questions of on the topics I discussed it this week. Now, as always, keep Phantom Caving, and we'll see you next week on the Phantom Cave YouTube channel. See you.